Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6 where we should have already. Oh, I don't even have the tech yet. Alright, I actually can't lock in any districts. I was thinking we could lock in that campus. Unfortunately, that is not true. I do want masonry so I can clear that stone and lock in my theater square. So it looks like we're going masonry into writing and we'll see what, see how things go from there. Actually, god dang it, we really need this too. Alright, masonry, writing, dockyards. Perfect. What could go wrong? Seems like the perfect order. Rip that plantation. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to go ahead and buy that guy. Could chop this out as well. All right, so yeah, more settlers. Too many techs needed in naval games. Yeah, it's a huge bottleneck. Huge bottleneck of science. Vancouver, you settled the plantation. You dumb dumb. Why don't you settle there in between them? Don't you know I'm going to get one culture out of that later? Oh god, and this is the end of the era. This game feels awful. Should at least be able to get a normal age, at le uh, hopefully. Patia, all the great people. Friend Mansa, sure. Um. First suzerain would be era score. We could do that at Lisbon. Lisbon then picks up what? That cattle tile? That doesn't bother me, really. Hey, Octo. Have you had a fun game with the unlimited settler bug? No, that doesn't really seem fun to me, Octo. It just seems broken. I like that. That is as much fun as playing on settler difficulty for me. Get a little bit for the desert settle there. Could have thought about settling this, but... Yeah, this island is new continent, so we will get some uh, era score for settling that. But other people are already on it. No great people feels really terrible. If bread is the first necessity. Start with that for happiness. I'm going to go up here for your final housing. That we're going to chop out. This we're going to lock in. He's still dealing with this. Twenty-five free settlers? Yeah, I mean it's broken. It's not fun. I don't think it's fun. You you you're more than welcome to have as much fun with it as you want. But it's not that 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 that, that does not trip my trigger. I'll go I'll go I'll go challenge some elementary kids to a game of basketball. Like, meh. Not fun. 
Not for me. Until they patch it. Yeah, that's fair. A good point. <laughs> kids the, the, the AI the kids will learn a life lesson the AI learns nothing <laughs> that's awesome yeah no it's a gimmick it's a, it obviously makes it for really compelling content I, I I think potato obviously did a great job making the video he's probably got tons of views on it he's smart to do so but uh, as far as just playing the game no thank you pass. I think I like the writer in there since no one else is getting this. Very seldom are these policies ever worth it, uh, but this is one of those situations I think that works out. <laughs> that the good point, Maestro. Good point, buddy. <laughs> I could try to go clear this. I just spent all my money, though. She ain't got the great library. Our only chance here is if he goes into a dark. Let's go settle this one. How bad's the loyalty here? Minus two? It's not it's not terrible. We don't really pick up a whole lot here, but what it does do is kind of at least section off our land. Cause yeah, there 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 aren't even plantations really to take advantage of. City isn't worth a whole lot, but I gotta I gotta claim something. <laughs> I guess we aren't having these kind of issues, so if we're going to look on the bright side of anything, that's it. <laughs> you guys, I miss Goddess of the Harvest. Yeah, I know. Peaceful flipping with Eleanor is quite fun, Octo. We just had a fun uh, French Eleanor game doing doing quite a bit of that. Hmm. Sure, man. Yeah, that's that's the I really forward settled you there. Really did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles away. I'm grumpy today. St. Basil's somewhere, maybe, eventually. Yeah, I just need one more point. Can't believe we're not getting any sort of... Um... Any sort of great people yet. All right, next up, Harbor. Yeah, we, I guess we missed the Harbor this era. How do I get this last era score? Uh, I know how. We'll sue Lisbon. I'll just do that. Well, 
Okay. Oh, I was like, why are you for food? It's because the um, hurricane fertilized it, weirdly enough. Hey, Ordos, how you doing, buddy? Uh, they have not been soothed, or at least last time I saw them. Oh, they have now. Well, Wil Wilfred's trying to. He hasn't yet. How are you, Ordos? I am still on. I'm here. I exist. I'm going to save my money to buy these tiles, um, just in case we need something else for Aeroscore. Crater Lake get a bonus from Huey. Crater Lake, it looks like it gets a bonus from um, Earth Goddess. And maybe Huey as well. I'm pretty sure it does. I, I know Auckland does, works with it, so I would imagine. No love for Canada. No, not at all. They've been big jerk faces to me. Big old jerk faces. So Plymouth, in two turns, will be able to get all the way up to seven housing. So working all of this lovely food is good. And our gold per turn ain't too shabby either. Hey, Dun Dun, how you doing, man? Greetings and salutations to you, my friend. We've got one settler out. This is our second one. That'll be our third one. One, two, three. I do need one more at least, and then possibly more over here. It'd be nice to pick up this tobacco. That is not a resource we currently have access to. I'm not. I mean, he's got loyalty pressure here, and he's in a golden age. Now we can lock that in this. But then we'll go back to that. All right, hopefully Amani doesn't establish next turn, but probably will, knowing my luck. All right, so we've, we've gotten a full housing here. This third one probably doesn't do too much. We can go get some housing over here, I suppose. It's not super important to me. I'd almost rather give Plymouth some more uh, growth by improving the cattle, incentivizing them to work a four, four food tile. Please. Don Giovanni. Please. Do they do stuff to your butt? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Just making sure the button works, Kappa. <laughs> Much appreciated, my friend. Thank you, and welcome on back for three months in a row. Good to have you here. Thank you, thank you. So did you establish? You did. All right, Brussels it is, I guess. Brussels or Hong Kong? I have Brussels. <laughs> Meanwhile, Canada has decent land to go settle. Nope, settling Toronto. This is also a plus two campus. Uh, I'd really just like to get started on those dockyards. I'll do the culture, I suppose. Go in there. 
Troll Ronto. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of nice tiles that we're working. Especially as it pertains to gold. Please. You get paid. Jackal. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the tier three. The coolest. No. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. I'm thankful for TGM gobble gobble gobble. I hope you don't get lost in the snow. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It's pretty nasty out there. Every time I like get up and uh, and, and go do something, I uh, take a take a little gander. And uh, wow. <laughs> uh, thank you, my friend. I appreciate you for the 11 months, almost a year, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. How are profits still a thing? Shinto? Wait a minute. Did I? Monta Musa doesn't have a religion? What? Huh. That's odd. That's odd. Not sure what to make of that. <laughs> Suzerain shift immediately because AI. Christina, hmm, how nice for you. I should have seen that coming. Uh, we're still not getting 12 more era score, no way. And again, I like focusing all these food tiles. What are we working here in London? I'll take that back. And they've been pretty happy with their four tiles. Cool, cool, cool. You know the thing they took out that makes me really sad? The ability to switch tiles in between conquering things. That really bums me out. I liked doing that. It was fun. All right, so how long? Two, two turns? Canada, can you please go into a Dark Age? That would just be swell. Doesn't settling a city remove the tribal village? So we'll, yes, but we'll also gain the benefit. So, boop. 60 faith. Uh, yeah, it's another desert settle. Can't really do much here, scouting wise. Cool. Defense is superior. Okay. So, Canada is in a dark age. Yes. That is glorious for us. Um, And I think I'm willing to do this. 20% growth here. Uh, and then we'll get our harbors here soon for even more housing. 
Uh, Flippy, we gotta make a couple more videos, man. So I'm not totally sure time-wise, but... I think I like Monumentality here. Free Inquiry, we've, we've gone through a lot of the easy era score, and, and we're about to get our harbors, um, and they're half-priced, so we should be able to get at least one era score per city here, uh, if not more. Now, if we were in a golden here, we'd, we'd certainly be flipping by now. We, we may not actually be able to uh, yet because he's got all this stuff. But like the later streams being on the East Coast. Nice. Yeah, I, I'd like to get to a more uh, consistent schedule. I'm getting back, to it. getting back to it. Nothing I want here. Feudalism, not really doing farms. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. So weird how that's flipping. Huh. Um, okay. So really, though, we should think about... Putting that here. Okay. Um, we should think about... Wait. Did you override a... <sighs> you did, didn't you? You override a... R overrode a jungle, because this was going to be a plus two... Grumble. That's what I was thinking, Cyber. Decline Toronto, and can I get a military ready to go to just raise it? And I probably can. After Celestial Navigation here, we want to get some campuses going. Uh, but we could probably go right for swords, and that might be enough to just take out a free city. So annoyed by this. No, it was jungle. I because I, I remember I remember thinking that this was a plus two campus, and so rainforest, 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 rainforest. So it was a rainforest hills, nonetheless. So I think we can. Um, so then why don't we put five combat strength on just melee units? I'm just going to try to go for trade city states, I think. Melee and trade. Nice. Get some Diplo. That that could be a way to win this game, too. It's just dis diplomacy. All right. In two turns, we're done with Settlers. Well, more like three, probably. So let's actually go here for some policy switches. Oh, wait. We'll, we'll go one more into Feudalism. Uh, I've got a bunch of gold, and that may be for units. Don't need this. Somehow I haven't killed three barbarians. Yeah, I was debating between these because they were the same. They were both plus two campuses and we decided here so, because we could make it a plus three versus a campus there didn't really get an easy district next to it to improve its adjacency. Um, although it was going to improve the adjacency of my theater square, we decided to possibly put a wonder here next to this theater square and do this down like that. So. Am I running add-ons that show all this? No, this is in the vanilla game now. If you just go into uh, options, interface, show yield, and hub, HUD ribbon, and then you can see all that in your base game. I guess I'm hard teching bronze working. Feels pretty bad. Okay, you're done next turn. What a boon, I know, right? The more information, the better. Do I need to settle a city in place of Toronto? There's no, no place to settle it. If you're gonna do that, you might as well just keep Toronto because we would keep the population. I'm too annoyed at this city to keep it, though. Hmm. 
district time. I think starting with starting with the dockyards, okay. These cities will get on there soon. That's done next turn. Lovely. He stabilized it by moving a governor. This three pop city not flipping annoys me, but I'm sure it's doing what it's supposed to. Um. Then they need to grow again. Because I can get a dockyard afterwards. Because I should have done that first, maybe. Lots of districts coming. Very nice. Uh, Francium. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> a little bit different. A little bit different, Smash. Settle the lake above Manchester? Uh, theoretically possible, yeah. Shares a lot with Germany, though. And this is still a terror. Not going for pyramids here? Yeah, I know. Probably should. Monza got the Colosseum. What turn is that? That's turn... 93? Get all these dockyards going. No, it is no longer flipping. Nothing is flipping. Feels much more like the uh, Court of Love that I expected going into this. So we're done with this. That's exciting. I could see getting builders, but I really just want districts right now. So what could go alongside this? Could take a little bit of gold. I think I like the idea of getting some builders going, although we're teching towards feudalism. Need veterancy? We do need veterancy. So maybe we'll go get veterancy. That's a good idea. So why don't we, why don't we run builders? Tech veterancy. For all these ones. You can get a quick builder. That, will, that way we'll build all these a little bit more efficiently. I'm going to let this finish because it's just one more turn. Plus then I can buy their lighthouse, give them even more housing, and get another trader right away. Oh, why did I go that way? Dumb, dumb.
four arrow score for the dockyard. I heard a barb. Yeah, this maybe. Is that going to be my problem? It probably will be because this game hates me today. Finish the oracle on my jungle tile. I didn't even look. Where is that iron? Here? Oh, come on! It's fine. It just goes here now. And then they get that. Ay, ay, ay. Siv just likes to troll me lately. No, that's true. Plenty of spots for campuses. All right. I guess we don't have to worry about military if this isn't actually flipping yet. This game annoys me so much. So much. No, you shouldn't be clipping it. It's not worth that. Not worth it. If I were to get another city, it would go here. Just picks up this, gets this, gets that. Not much of a harbor, but whatever. Cattle settle. Um, we don't get this. Go either way. Sweden on 95 science? No, I don't plan on fighting Sweden. Next turn, we get to run the policy, so let's go ahead and queue up our dockyard. Here? I think that's slightly better. Because potentially a wonder and like a theater square next to it. Potentially. So two turns and I get this or I can just buy it. I'm probably just going to buy it because next turn I want to switch uh, policies. So we'll finish off. We'll buy that and then hopefully get our theater square down here soon. Hey, Jaywalk. How you doing? Happy Thanksgiving to all of those who participate. Mahabadi. Speaking of Diplo points. Oh, no, that's not Mahabadi. Never mind. So we're done with this dockyard. And then I'll buy a trader down here, I think. And then we want to bring in, this is okay. And then we really want to bring in uh, veterancy to help build our harbors, 30% production there. So that's not bad. Uh, the rest of this is probably fine. And then we'll buy this. Two 
Two envoys, not doing anything with them. Oh, wait, Lisbon affects lighthouses now, doesn't it? So I will want that. No, you don't really want to take city-states that really benefit us. And since we're going to have harbors in pretty much every city, like Lisbon is a really, like a, a pretty nice city-state to have on our side. So that's not one I'm interested in taking. How many cities do you expect to settle on a map like this? Um, well, I would have expected to settle more. You can see our issues there. Uh, this gap, notwithstanding. Uh, so we have one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About to have nine, and we have our tenth settler out as well around turn one hundred. So. Even though we had a slow start, even though we went for an early wonder, uh, we're, we're kind of able to, to catch back up a little bit here. So 10 is, is our magic number here, I guess. So that goes here. Cut soon, yeah. Soonish. Soonish. This city kind of blows. Do you want to skip this? I mean, there's just not that much going on in this city. Like, I could move this guy over here then. Come, come down, settle our marble here. So you're going there. And then I could skip this. I give up a plus four campus to do so. Um, but I think this is a better city. Although the loyalty is a little bit rough. I could settle the I could settle the cattle. Work the three two. We get the plantation then. Get this. <laughs> Rip Rice University. It's just, there's not that much quality stuff around there. And I would like this tobacco tile. I think it's better. I think it's slightly better. Oh, hey, Kingston. No, I want actual road infrastructure. So I guess we have to go to Quebec City. It's a terrible trade route, though. Go to Mansa Musa. Oh, that's not bad. Let's do that. I held up a fistful of sand and... Any tips for early war effect you struggle with, uh, or you feel like you struggle with it, especially when you don't have any access to iron? Yeah, if you don't have access to iron or horses, there is no early war, and you reroll. Um, I, I, I will say another another thing that disappoints me about the current state of the game is that uh, there just doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason or balance to strategics, um, and they've become so important that when you don't get them, you're just done. Because um, it used to be like you could trade for one copy of iron, make all the swords that you want, and you're good to go. But now that doesn't work that way. Um, you really need to have an, a, a, an accumulation of it. Um, so, yeah, early war like that, not not a thing. Not a thing if you don't have the iron. Um, tips beyond that, like if you are, if you know you're doing early war stuff, seriously get an encampment, like rush it. Get an encampment and a general to go along with it. And you'll probably be able to, you'll, you'll have a window that's big enough for you to take out somebody or at least a couple cities. Usually. Jag förmodar att du bara synar konst är god när den förenar rummets estetik. Din borgarbracka. Okay. It's got crossbows. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a cut in here as we uh, finish our expansion. It's a pretty quick one. Um, wow. Volcanoes. Building what underneath? Encampment. 
Interesting, interesting. Yeah, government plaza thing is, is uh, we should certainly get one at some point. Uh, but uh, we'll deal with that in the next video. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. See you then.